Um, have a pillow or a folded up towel nearby. If you have yoga blocks, that might be nice to have as well, but you don't need them. So you'll start off lying on your back. And then I'd like to take the pillow or the folded up blanket underneath my head. Good, and then you'll just lie down and as soon as you come down, straighten your legs as much as you can. So in the same way you would if you just woke up in the morning and you kind of stretch through the arms, can you have that same awareness and sort of tension through the reaching of your heels, the straightening of the knees so much that the heels might even come off the mat. And just take one more breath like that, wake up the legs. Good, and you'll do the same with the arms alongside the ears. So you just reach through your fingertips and get really long through the arms. If this doesn't feel right in your shoulders, maybe you're just reaching up towards the ceiling. And then reach, reach, reach. Take another breath or two like this. Stretch through your fingertips without sort of hardening in your hands or your face. Good. And then you'll just relax the hands onto the belly. Let the arms go soft, the legs go soft. And then bring your attention to the very center of your navel. And as you inhale, dilate the navel like you're inflating a balloon. And when you exhale, feel the navel deeply. Good. Inhale, dilate, expand the very center of the navel. And exhale, let it draw back to its original size. Do that once more, breathing in, expansive in the belly and breathing out about three more breaths but you'll add now the very center of your chest same thing imagine there's a balloon there so you're inflating belly and chest on the inhale and exhale let them soften place one hand on the belly one hand on the chest do two more like that inhale inflating the breath into both hands equally and exhaling very calmly, empty the lungs. Relax your eyebrows, do one more like this, breathing in, feel the sides of your rib cage expand, the upper chest, upper back, and breathe out. Okay, you'll keep the same breath, but now we'll add the arms, bring your forearms together right above you, press your palms together. And on your inhalation, very slowly float the arms open and out to the sides. Maybe your hands touch the floor. And then when you exhale, imagine the elbows, forearms, hands magnetized together. Two more like that. Breathing in, float the arms out wide. Maybe you puff up the chest a little bit. And you'll exhale, magnetize the arms back together. Slack in the jaw. One more like that. Breathing in, float the arms out wide, open through the collarbones. And exhale, feel the arms go back to center. Good. And then you'll bend your knees, plant your feet one at a time. Keep your elbows touching as long as you can. And you'll just breathe in. Maybe you tap the fingertips on the floor behind you. And then you'll exhale, pull the elbows towards your knees calmly they probably won't touch and then you'll breathe in tap the floor behind you try to keep the elbows connected and exhale pick up both feet at the same time elbows towards your knees one more like that breathing in land your feet cleanly touch the floor behind you and exhale draw the elbows towards the knees He's good and then you'll grab onto your knees Take a breath in and circle your knees around to the right, then away from you, circling them around left and back center. So you're drawing a big circle with your knees twice more to the right as you breathe in. And exhaling back around. Inhaling, last one. Maybe you feel a little massage on the backs of your hips. And exhale. Good, you'll do three to the left, breathing in. You might hold on behind your thighs if that's more comfortable for you, breathing out. Two more left, breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, circling 
and exhale, come back center. Good, and then you'll plant your feet flat, open the arms out to the sides, and then you'll lift your feet up off of the mat, you'll take a breath in, maybe your shins are parallel to the floor, or you keep your heels glued to the seat. Okay, so choose for yourself, take another inhale here, and when you exhale, press into the back of your left hand out to your side, as you slowly lower the knees towards your right, they probably won't come to the floor. And then you'll breathe in, come back through the center. And you'll exhale, fall the knees over to the left until they just barely land. Breathing in, come back through the center. And you'll exhale, circle knees right. Breathe in through the middle. Exhale, send knees left. Once more, each side, breathing in. Breathe out calmly to the right. Inhale, middle. Exhale, calmly to the left. Good, bring your knees back into the midline. Give them a little squeeze. Good, and then you'll lower your feet flat down in front of you. Okay, land your feet well. Bring your palms together at the center of the chest. And we'll begin with an om here. You can either say it out loud with me or just listen to my om. Take a breath in. together as you inhale float the hands up towards the sky and then you'll exhale lower your knees to the right as you reach your hands to the left and your mouth and then you'll breathe in come back center and you'll take the other side exhale twisting arms to the right knees to the left do two more sets like that breathe in through the middle exhale and spiral good breathe in through the middle and breathe out, spiral. Inhale, last one to the right. Exhale. And last one to the left, breathing in. And exhale, we fall. Come back to the center, lower your feet down, and you'll reach your arms up to the side. Slide your legs forward and just let them kind of flop. So probably your heels turned in and your toes turned out. So now you're going to send your right knee and your right toes up toward the ceiling. So you're just sort of rolling towards the inner edge of your right leg and then drag the right heel towards your seat. Let the right leg flop open to the right and then slide the foot back down. So the right leg is straight. We'll do that again. So you're turning the leg to neutral, the right knee, the right toes point up to the ceiling. And then keep breathing, slide the heel up towards your right seat. Let the leg flop out to the side, sort of like tree pose. And then you'll straighten the leg forward. Do that once more, roll towards the inner edge of the right leg. Slide the right heel towards the seat, hollowing the belly gently. Good. Let the knee flop out to the right, and then let's straighten the right leg forward. And then just pause here, take a breath in, relax the jaw, the eyes, breathing out. We'll take the second side. So right now your left toes are probably pointing out to the left. So roll along the back edge of your left heel. So you're coming to neutral alignment in the left leg. And then you'll dig the left heel into your mat as you slide the left heel towards your left seat. Good, let the left leg open to the left. And then slide the turned out leg forward until the knee is straight. We'll do that twice more. Roll towards the inner edge of your right heel. Dig the heel down as you draw the left heel towards your seat. Open up the left knee out to the left and then slowly slide the foot forward straight leg. 
Last one, turn the leg into neutral. Draw a heel to seat. Maybe you feel your hamstring work, the muscles, the backs of the legs. Let the left knee flop open to the left. And then you'll slide the left foot back forward. Let's do both legs at the same time. Pause here for a moment. The legs are just sort of flopped out to the side, no effort. Good, now you'll roll along to the inner edges of your heels, all, all toes, both knees point up to the ceiling. Dig your heels down into the mat as you slide them toward your seat. Good, and you'll open the knees out to the side, breathing in, and then slide your legs back forward. And you can see my mat is sort of moving with me, that's okay. So coming to neutral alignment, toes and knees point to the ceiling. Exhale, draw the heels to the seat. Feel your hamstrings wake up a little bit. Good. Breathing in, let the legs flop out to the sides. And breathing out, stretch your legs forward. Last one like this, breathing in, legs to neutral. Exhale, magnetize your heels toward your sit bones. Draw the feet in. Breathe in like you're sort of a flower blooming the legs just wide to the sides and breathing out stretch your legs back forward and then pause take a breath in here and a breath out okay and then nice and slow You'll roll over into the fetal position. You can roll over to either side. I'm going to roll over onto my right side. And then you'll use your left hand to help push your way up to a seated position. Okay, and then come to hands and knees, all fours. You could put a blanket underneath your knees or any kind of padding that works for you. And you'll move your pillow off to the side. So on hands and knees, set your hands up well. Imagine you have um, three sesame seeds. So one here at the base of the thumb, one at the pointer finger, and one at the base of the pinky finger on both hands. Crush all three of those seeds. Okay, and as you press down through those three points in each hand, feel a little doming up at the very center of your palm. And then just stacking the knees right under the hips. As you breathe in, send your tailbone back behind you and then up towards the ceiling. Feel the rest of the spine respond by turning the heart up. And then you'll exhale, brush the tip of your tailbone down towards the floor. And then the rest of the spine will curl into cat. So do that twice more. Lead with your tailbone. Send the tail back and then slowly up cow spine. And you'll exhale, reach the tail a little further back as it scoops down, chin to chest, dome in the back. And inhale, send the tail first back and then up. Lift the heart more than the chin. And exhale, curl the tail underneath you and dome the spine. Good. Stay here. Take a breath in. Imagine you have a set of hands on your middle back. Puff the breath up into those imaginary hands. And then you'll exhale, come to a neutral spine. Good, tuck your toes under, breathe in, and then send your shoulders a little bit forward beyond your wrists. And then you'll exhale, rock your way back any amount to child's pose. Good, you'll breathe in, pull yourself forward, shoulders slightly beyond the wrists. And exhale, pull your pelvis back, Child's pose. Let's do that three more times. Breathing in, come forward, hands and knees. Breathing out, child's pose. Inhale to come forward and breathing out. Last one, breathing in and breathe out. And stay in your child's pose. We, we often call child's pose a place to rest, but it's not always comfortable for all of us. So you might be a little higher with your head up on a pillow or a block. You could have your toes tucked under or not. It might feel nice to place a pillow underneath your heels or behind your knees. 
We're going to stay here about five breaths. So remember the breath we did at the very start that was at the center of your navel and the center of your chest. So take a breath into those two points and dilate the breath out three dimensions. And then you'll exhale and heavy your forehead on whatever surface it's touching. Two more breathing and maybe you crawl your fingertips a little further forward. And slowly breathe out. And again, breathing in. And exhale. So we'll take two more breaths here, but you might sweep your arms back behind you. Take another inhale, fill the back body with breath and breathe out again imagine some hands on the middle of your back take a big puffed breath into those imaginary hands and exhale slacken your tongue your jaw and your eyes good on your inhalation you'll come forward back to your hands and knees good. and then as you exhale, come high into your fingertops, or you could put your hands on blocks. Good, and you're gonna step your right foot forward, so you'll be in a little bit of a lunge. Good, take a breath in, plant your hands on top of the thigh, push your hands down to lift your chest up. Good, about three breaths here. Press the feet into the mat, and see if you can tilt your heart upwards like we did in our cow spine. Take one more breath. Sweep the flesh of the belly up towards your heart and open the chest. Good. When you exhale, you'll lower your hands down onto the blocks and just bring your right knee back in line with your left. Good. Take a breath in with hands on blocks or on the floor cow spine send the tail back and up the heart lifts and exhale rounding your spine chin to your chest good take a breath and come to a neutral spine and then when you exhale step your left foot forward inside the left block good plant your hands on your thighs push your hands into your thigh bone and try to tilt your heart upwards so finding a nice arc in the back nice and even imagine you're holding a grapefruit between your chin and your chest so you don't kind of crank the back of the neck good take one more breath again the belly flesh goes up towards the chest look up with the eye of the heart and then you'll lower your hands down and bring your left knee back in line with the right inhale cow spine tilt your heart up tilt the tail up and exhale, dome the back, rounding into cat. Good, and then you'll take a breath in, come to a neutral spine. Good, and as you exhale, you're gonna step your right foot off of the mat, out to the right this time. So your knee is stacked right over your ankle. Bring your hands onto your left thigh and use that as a guide to come upright. You'll open your arms out to the sides Press into the pinky side of your right foot. See if you can open the right knee behind you. Hug your right butt underneath you. Good. Open the arms wide and then slowly turn to look over your right hand. And then you'll bow your chin toward your chest. Left ear to left shoulder. And then circle the gaze all the way up towards the ceiling until you look back over the right hand. Good, and then you'll prayer your hands together at the heart. And back bend here. Use the thumbs at your sternum to help you pick your own sternum up. Hug your right butt underneath you. Open the chest. Take a breath in. And then you'll look back forward. Lower the hands down. And then come to hands and knees all fours. So again, you'll breathe in. Cow spine and exhale round into cat and this time come back to your child's pose we're not staying long about three breaths inhaling 
And exhale, remember a pillow under your seat if you'd like. Inhale, maybe you put the block under your forehead. And exhale. Good, one more like that. Breathing in, heavy the pelvis towards your heels. And breathing out. On your inhalation, come back to a neutral spine. And then you'll step your left foot off to the left side of your mat so that your left heel is about in line with your right knee. And then you'll plant your hands on the right side, push your feet into the floor, especially the left foot, and come up tall, opening the arms out wide. And then just pause here, enjoy the width across your collarbones. Try to hear your own breath, a very clear inhalation. And when you exhale, you'll turn to look toward your left fingertips. Then you'll draw your chin toward your chest, circle the head down, right ear to right shoulder. Look up towards the ceiling and then back over the left fingertips. Good. Press your palms together at the center of the chest. Push into the whole sole of your left foot. Breathe in and scrub your sternum up towards the ceiling. Belly goes up towards the ceiling. Take a breath in, back bending. And then you'll exhale, look back forward. Plant your hands back down on blocks or the mat and come to hands and knees. So you'll breathe in, turn your fingertips out this time. Cow spine, tail goes up and back. And you'll exhale, round into cat. Good, and then you'll slowly lower the seat back into child's pose. If your hands are on box, they can stay there. And this will be a little more dynamic. So as you breathe in, almost like a caterpillar would move, crawl your heart a little further forward. And then you'll exhale. Inhale, segment through the spine. Draw your belly forward, your ribs forward, your heart forward. And exhale, settle down into the floor. One more like that. Inhale, belly further down the thighs and ripple through the rest of the spine for length. And you'll exhale and fold. Okay, when you breathe in, come to a neutral spine. And then you'll make your way up to stand. So any way that sort of works for you, we're not going to do too much standing. Um, if you have blocks, you can come up high on your fingertips. And I like to just step one foot forward and then the other. Once you are standing, have a chair. Um, and you can pause if you need to go get a chair. And you'll place the chair on your sticky mat so that it doesn't move um, when you put some pressure on it. Good. And then just stand up tall. So we'll take mountain pose. We did something similar the very first thing we did lying on the back. And I asked you to bring the feeling into the body you have when you first wake up in the morning and you're stretching, maybe yawning. So find that in your legs. Hug the muscle to the bone. Press the heels of the feet down through the floor. Try to lift the fronts of the thighs, lift the kneecaps. Maybe you even feel your seat muscles work. Good, and then you'll find the same energy through the arms. If it doesn't feel good to lift the arms all the way up, go part of the way, but really reach. Whatever you've chosen, stay with it, own it, and then reach out brightness through the fingertips, brightness down through your heels. Good, and then taking three breaths here. So as you inhale, sip the breath in from the, the dark lowest lobes of the lungs, up to the lightness, the airy brightness of the tops of the lungs. And then you'll exhale the breath right back down to the base of the lungs. Take two more like that. Inhale, sip the breath from the base to the top of the lungs. And exhale all the air out. One like, more like that breathing in, fill the whole lung. And exhale out of the top lobes, all the way down to the lower lobes. And then you'll just float your arms down by your sides. Okay. 
So you'll plant your hands on your chair. You might need to bend your knees to do this and walk your feet back until you're in what feels like a downward facing dog. This has been feeling better to me than uh, actually having my hands on the mat. And you might bend your knees. You might not go as low in your head. So do something that feels sustainable and sort of peaceful to you. Do try to stack your seat over your ankles. And then you'll push your hands down into the chair and like you're trying to pull the chair towards you instead of sinking your heart to the floor. So let there be some strength and integrity there. Good. Taking another breath or two like this, you might bend one knee and then the other. Nice and, and gentle with your breath. One more breath. Okay, keep your feet where they are. You're gonna lift your heels up and come to a plank pose. So your hips will come forward towards the chair. Your shoulders will stack right over the wrist. Take a breath in. Good, and when you exhale, stay here or try drawing your right knee towards the chair. And then you'll inhale back into plank. And you'll exhale left knee towards you. Inhale to plank. You'll come back into downward facing dog. Bend your knees, release your hands, and then roll through your spine. So imagine that you're gonna put some weight on your tailbone. So let the tailbone drop to the floor first, and then hollow the belly towards the spine as you roll up, stack the vertebra one at a time. When you get to the top, take a deep breath in, Sweep the arms up and overhead. And then as you exhale with a long spine, pull your hands to your heart and then reach your hands onto the chair. This is your down dog. Take a deep breath in, draw your pelvis back and a deep breath out. Another breath like that. Inhale, press your hands to the chair and exhale. Okay, the transition, same thing. Inhale, lift your heels up and then roll forward to a plank pose so that your pelvis is on a diagonal with your brain, which is on a diagonal with your heels. Good, this time as you exhale, draw your right knee forward and you'll step your right foot so that the right ankle is underneath your right knee. You could scoot your left foot back a little bit. Plant your hands on top of the right thigh and you could stay like this and push the thigh away, back bend like we did kneeling, or lift both of your arms up. You might press your shin into the chair for a little bit of feedback there to help with the balance. Good, and then breathing in, ignite the line of the arms, push through both feet, and take two more breaths, inhaling to the back of the lungs. Exhale, relax the eyes. Inhale, feel a brightness to the fingertips, and exhale. Lower your hands back onto the chair. You'll step your right foot back first to our plank, and then you'll come back into downward facing dog. Release your hands one at a time, soften the knees, put a weight on the tip of your tail, drop the tail, Chin towards your chest. Feel the back body opening as you come up to stand, rolling slowly. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands in a prayer to the heart center. And then you'll start to tip forward and plant your hands on the chair in front of you. Down dog, take a deep breath and push your hands to the chair. And you'll exhale slowly. Another like that, breathing in. And breathing out, soften your tongue. Take one more, imagine someone is pulling your hips back, breathing in long in the front of the chest. And breathe out. Okay, imagine you're in child's pose like we did with the caterpillar spine before. 
Inhale, try to pull your belly forward, but your hips are going back. Your heart goes forward, and then you'll make your way into plank pose. Then you'll draw your left knee towards the chair, and then step the foot so that the ankle is right underneath your left knee. Press your hands into the top of the left thigh. You could stay like this as you push the thigh away, lift your heart up or you might sweep the arms up by the ears. It's about five breaths all together. At any point, if you need to, lower the back knee or bring your hands onto your chair to help you. As you inflate the lungs with each inhale, imagine that your lungs get longer. And as they do, because they do, your arms go higher, the sides of your waist get longer, your whole trunk increases its capacity for breath. Good, one more big breath in. Elongate the back of your neck, widen the back skull. Good, and then you'll lower the hands down onto the chair. Cluck your left foot up, step it back to plank, take a breath in and make your way back down to downward facing dog. And then that same caterpillar spine, breathe in, try to pull your heart forward so the front of your spine is really long, and exhale, soften. Another breath like that, inhale. Front spine long, maybe the ears are in line with your arm bones, and you'll exhale. Okay, we'll do one more thing standing like this. So you'll breathe in and come forward to plank. You'll exhale, draw the knee forward, right knee forward towards the chair. Step the foot down. And then you'll spin your left heel down onto the mat. Good. You'll keep your right hand on the chair. This will feel sort of like warrior two. Good. First, lift your left arm up. You could also sweep the left arm alongside your left ear and really press and anchor through the outer edge of your left foot. Good, press into the pinky side of your right foot as well and try to open the right knee behind you. Good, and then you'll look towards your right fingertips. Draw your chin towards your chest, circle the head, we'll look up towards the ceiling all the way back around to the right hand. Good, now bring your right hand to your right thigh. You'll straighten through your right leg and just lift both of your arms up as you parallel the feet. You could hook thumbs, you could keep the arms wide in a V that's a little gentler in the shoulders and just expand in all directions. Imagine you're like um, the man in Leonardo da Vinci's circle. Reach out through all of your limbs, including the limb of the spine, and take one more breath again, like you're waking up first thing in the morning, reach through fingertips and toes. Great, and then you'll turn back. So all 10 toes turn back to the chair. Plant your hands, pluck the right foot up and back into plank, and then we'll meet in down dog. Good, and then you'll just release your hands, fold over the legs. Draw the tail down, chin toward your chest, segment the spine, stack one vertebra on top of the one before it. Once you get to the top, breathe in last time like this, sweep the arms up and overhead. Trace the midline with your hands as you come to a forward fold. And then you'll reach your hands forward onto the chair. You can always move your feet in closer if you need. Two more breaths in your down dog. Draw the skin of your outer hips. I'm pointing to it here. Imagine that skin is hooking up and back behind you on both sides. And the next time you breathe in, pull forward into plank pose, reaching out through the crown of the head. You'll exhale, draw the left knee towards the chair and step the foot down. Spin your right heel down onto the mat so the whole sole of the right foot is down. You'll stack your left hand about underneath your left shoulder, a little in front of it. And then you'll start to open your right chest up towards the ceiling. You could stay like this or sweep the right arm alongside your right ear. 
Good, take a couple of breaths. Open the left knee back behind you to the wall behind your seat, behind your heart. And then you'll look down toward your left fingertips. Tuck your chin to your chest. And then circle the eyes up towards your ceiling. And then all the way back around to the left hand. Good. And then with strong legs, sort of push the chair away from you as you come up to stand. Parallel your feet, straighten your legs. And then take whatever variation you did on the other side, either hooking the thumbs or arms out in a V. I kind of like the V because then your whole body is in this X shape. Good, and then reaching out in all directions. As you reach away from yourself, keep the integrity of your midline. This is sort of your hub. Um, from the pubic bone up to the crown of the head, keep that electric and awake and aware so that you have something to reach away from. Good. Take one more big breath in. Reach, reach, reach in all directions. Good. And then you'll turn slowly back towards the chair. Plant your hands. Good. And then this time you'll step your right foot forward to meet your left. And then bring your um, forearms onto the chair in front of you and bow your head. And then you'll bend your knees until your knees are sort of tapping into the chair. So it will feel like a, a variation of chair pose. Let the weight of your head sink down on your forearms and then take some little cat cows here. So as you breathe in, brush the tip of your tail back behind you, curl the heart up. And as you breathe out, sweep the tail underneath you, round your spine, forehead, forearms. Good. Again, like that, sweep the tail back and up behind you. Inhale, lift the heart. And you'll exhale, round yourself like a cat's spine. Put the other forearm on top. You'll take twice more, breathing in. And breathe out. Inhale, and exhale. It's okay if the shoulders sort of shrug up by your ears. Good. Okay, and then from here, release your hands into the seat of the chair. Good, so I'm going to show you a way to come back down to the floor. Um, if this doesn't work for your ankles or knees or anything, you come down your own way. So you'll keep your fingertips on the chair. You're going to try to stay in a long, neutral spine. And then make sure you move your feet back far enough so that as you start to bend your knees, they don't hit the chair. So you'll come all the way down to a little perch, sitting on the heels. Good. And then you'll open out the knees to the sides. So like Baddha Konasana. Good. And then see if you can look to your right up to the ceiling, to the left, and down. Come back up through the middle, you'll look left, up to the ceiling, to the right, and chin down. Good. Stack the head back up on the spine. You'll narrow your legs together. And then lower your hands down to support you. And you'll come all the way down to sit. And then let's move the chair off to the side. Good. And then so once you're seated, you can extend your legs straight forward. And then this is where I like to have a bunch of pillows and blocks. So I like to stack my blocks here on the highest setting. And then maybe you have one long pillow that sort of lands on both of your blocks. And then forward fold. So this is option one. So many of you, this will feel um, kind of grounding. If when you sit down and you're just sort of here and you feel a lot of pulling on the back, Instead, so those of you stuck with option one, you stay there and you breathe. 
But if that didn't feel right to you, you're gonna go instead to a wall. You'll get the same hamstring opening, but it will just be a little bit more neutralizing in the spine. So wherever you are, Find a comfortable place for your arms. If you're on your back, you might try the cactus shape or one hand on the belly, one on the chest. And then inhale slowly, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, five, four, three, two, one. One, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Take about five more breaths like this. And now the, the mind will sort of want to jump ahead. Well, what's coming next? It always wants to find something that's um, more interesting. Can you convince the mind to stay right here in this shape? Just about two more breaths. Watch the breath come in. Watch the breath go out. Inhale, let the body be heavy with gravity. And exhale. Okay, so if you're still seated, you're going to meet us um, lying on the belly. If you had legs up the wall, take your time and you'll just roll over onto your mat. And once you're there, come up onto your forearms. You'll press down through your forearms. So don't actually move them, but energetically hug your elbows back towards your feet. And as you do so, maybe you feel your heart and collarbones go forward and up. And then we'll stay here about five breaths, widen across your chest. Can you press your pubic bone a little more into the floor? And then Wake up your legs, press the tops of your feet, especially the pinky sides of the feet, down into your mat. Maybe your kneecaps lift off of the mat. And you'll take about one more breath, hug the elbows back towards your feet and try to widen the forearms apart for this last breath. Good, and then you'll slowly just narrow your hands, spin your elbows out to the sides and lower your forehead onto your hands. Take a big puffing breath into the low back, trying to reverse the curve in your imagination. And then you'll exhale and heavy the belly down through your mat. Again, like that, breathing in, puff the breath into the low back curve. And take a long exhale, softening. One more breathing in and breathe out. Okay, one more thing on the belly. You'll come up back onto the forearms, sphinx pose, lengthening through the sides of the neck. And then you'll just draw your left heel towards your seat. Good, try to pick your left knee up and then you might tap your toes outside of your mat on the way forward. Good. Lift your left elbow up off of the mat and crawl your left fingertips forward. So imagine someone sort of pulling your left knee away from you as you crawl your left fingertips in the opposite direction. Good. For me, I feel very long in my left waistline, my left ribs and lung, even my left armpit. Take another breath. Good. And then you'll slowly come back onto the belly, take a breath in through the middle, and a breath out, relax the jaw. Other side, right heel toward your seat. Try to pick the knee up as you bring the toes off the left side of your mat. And maybe they touch the floor, your right elbow will come off the floor and you'll crawl your fingertips away from your right toes. 
so that this whole right side, the right sheath of the body is extended and lengthening. You can let your head bow, the tongue soften. Take another breath like this and reach in opposite directions. Good, and then you'll come back to your sphinx pose. Take a breath in and a calm breath out. Okay, so you'll come to lie down on your back. And then again, once you're there, you might want to pillow under the head. I always just like how that feels, especially if your chin is jutting up to the ceiling higher than your forehead and nose, then you might need a pillow to help you level that off. Maybe even two pillows. Draw your knees towards your chest once you're down on the back and take a couple of calming breaths. You might rock a little bit forward and back a little side to side. Rock the knees a little side to side. And then you'll plant your feet flat in front of you. When you breathe in, lift your pelvis up, keep the left and right hip points equidistant from the ceiling or level. And then you'll shift your pelvis over to the right and then lower the pelvis down to the floor. Keep it over to the right. As you breathe in, you'll lift the pelvis back up, left hip as high as right hip, and then bring the pelvis back center as you lower down. We'll do the left side now, breathing in, lift the pelvis up. Shift the hips over to the left. Keep them to the left as you lower them down. Still to the left, you'll lift them back up, right hip as high as left, and back through the center and you'll lower down. Good. This time you'll breathe in and lift your hips up. Also lift your arms up and overhead. Take a big breath out of your mouth. Stay empty. Seal your lips closed. And then you'll lower down through the top and the middle and the lower spine. When your pelvis lands, take a breath in. Reach your arms further back behind you. And you'll exhale. Let the arms float up to the ceiling and then forward by your sides. We'll do that again, breathing in, lift the hips, lift the arms overhead, a big breath out of the mouth. Stay empty, seal your lips closed, and slowly lower down, relaxing your jaw as you go in. Your tailbone lands, breathe in, reach the arms a little further back, and then you'll exhale, float them up first, and then down by your sides. Good, and then you'll lift your feet up off of the mat. Lower your knees off to the right side. Anything you want with your arms, maybe the right hand comes on top of the outer left leg. Reach your left arm away from you. And it's almost like um, the way you would fan out a deck of cards. Fan out your chest out to the left as you sweep the hips over to the right. Relax your jaw, you could turn your face to look over the right shoulder, a couple more breaths. One more here. Okay, and then pass through the center, and you'll lower your knees now off to the left. Again, find a place that's comfortable for your arms. Maybe left hand heavies the right thigh down to the floor. And then again, fan the chest now open to your right. Maybe you turn the face to look over the left shoulder and pause. Okay, and then come back to the center. We'll do just a little meditation before we end in Shavasana. Place one hand on the chest, one on the belly. And unless that's uncomfortable, then just put your arms where they are at ease. 
And you'll just begin to again feel the breath in both hands like we did at the start of class, equally in the chest and the belly. And then when you breathe in, I'd like you to think stira or strength. When you breathe out, think sukha or sweetness. So breathing in strength, effort. Breathing out, calmness, peace. Inhale, strength. Exhale, ease. Breathe in, strength. Breathe out, ease. So you continue like that. I'll talk a little bit. So in the yoga tradition, they have these two ideas, stira and sukha. Stira, again, meaning strength or focus, participation. And sukha, meaning with ease, the sense of peace and calmness. And so the idea is that you don't pit them against one another as opposites, but that you can be both in everything that you do. So whether it's in a relationship with someone or in your efforts at work, you participate with a sense of strength and focus, but at the same time, without clenching, without suffocating or gripping. So there is strong focus with a sense of ease simultaneously. And that happens with every breath. The inhale charges up the heart rate a bit, wakes up the body, strength. The exhale calms the heart rate a bit and helps you find softness. Can you, just for the next minute or so, continue to find a sense of strength and ease at the same time, one sort of seamlessly giving way to the other. The inhale becomes the exhale. The exhale loops right back around to come the inhale. Strength becomes ease. Ease comes right back around to become strength. A good place physiologically to practice this is in the muscles of the face. So can you have the concentration needed to observe the breath, stay in the meditation, but without gripping, without clenching in the musculature of the jaw or the tongue or the eyes? You can take about five or so more breaths like that, inhaling strength, Exhaling, peace. And then begin to transition to Shavasana. You could throw your legs up the wall as we had them earlier. You might want to put your legs up on your chair. So the calves would go up on the chair if the knees bent. You just have the legs long in front of you and set yourself up so that you are more on the side of, of ease, less effort. Give yourself permission to turn off the thinking mind, not have to do anything, almost like a light switch. You're just turning it off and resting for the next three or so minutes.
bring your awareness to your breath and give your jaw another softening, your tongue another softening. And just slowly, without gripping or without muscular effort, can you deepen the breath in, try to fill the lower, the middle, the upper portions of the lungs. And exhale, deflate the lungs, empty the lungs of breath. And then take another breath like that, slow motion. Inhale three dimensionally. Exhale very softly. Okay, you can choose to stay on your back, otherwise you'll bend one knee at a time and plant your feet flat on the mat. Then you might draw your knees in towards your chest and just give them a little hug in. And then we'll roll over. I'm rolling to my left. You can choose any side and just pause here. Imagine there's a, a kind hand behind your heart for you to press your breath into. And then you'll press down through your right hand if you're on the left side and you'll make your way up to sit. And then any way you'd like to sit, you'll draw the palms together at the center of the chest. And then we'll finish here with one ohm all together. Trying to find equal parts, participation, effort, focus, but at the same time, a calmness, a sense of ease as we go. Inhale. Thank you very much.